Um, again, almost every panel today mentioned the importance of uh, and the leading place that healthcare is playing in AI, the adoption of AI, ML, and the explosion of data sources in healthcare. 30 seconds each, future vision for 2025 and beyond. Looking forward, what breakthrough technologies or market shifts are each of you most excited about over the next year or so? So I'll just start with AI in general, right? The best data will result in the best answers. A lot of the open source data and traditional data sets aren't gonna generate the kind of signal that you want. Um, and so, and also think about the data that we're talking about today as the intellectual property that's owned by the data owner, right? And just like none of you want your intellectual property being distributed into AI because you can't get it back once it goes there, right? I'm not like Spotify. Spotify, you stop paying, you don't listen, can't listen to the music anymore. That data goes into AI, it can be used there forever until it becomes obsolete. So it's a very different licensing and economic model. And so protecting the intellectual property of the data, ensuring the best data goes into AI, that's the biggest trend I think you're going to see in 25 is there's more adoption. How do you actually figure out the right models to get the best data into your model overall? I am eager to see in 2025 how we, at least in healthcare, are going to come together around understanding quality of AI tools, validation of AI endpoints, or the information that AI is going to uh, generate, and how we, it's, we've had a really hard time doing that with what some would consider standard clinical outcomes. I'm anxious to see how we come together around using AI and treatment decisions. Yeah, so I think at Earnest, as we think about um, AI, generally like one of the focuses is thinking about how we can leverage AI to improve the way that we're normalizing uh, the data. And so like an, a quick example here, obviously I've talked about the importance of low latency and financial services. Um, and so with medical claims data sets that fundamentally have a certain amount of lag. There, we're starting to think about how we can use like a combination of machine learning and AI to develop superior backfill methodologies to sort of backfill claims that haven't yet actually appeared in the database or form predictions around that. Um, but yeah, so there's, a, there's a wide range of different applications, but we're excited to, to kind of incorporate AI, AI methodologies to improve the quality of our normalization techniques. And, and just quickly for me, um, at, at j, j we're super excited in the next few years if we can Im use machine learning to understand the, the specific patient's journey much, much better. I mean, again, using data from Health Verity and you know, other sources, how do you make sure that you can actually get to the right patient at the right time with the right medication? Um, that would be you know, the, uh, the most exciting part. And again, driven by machine learning algorithms.